dogs on the floor. Hey guys, the dogs on the floor, buddy. <laughs> I don't know what monstrosity of an intro that was, but uh, the one that we kind of already messed up on before. Okay, so in advance, I want to say we're gonna try not to make these episodes extremely long this time. Whoa! Oh yeah, we got the deadly ring off. <laughs> You're gonna have fun with that one. <laughs> That's oh, why we also dude. have no opals left. Yeah, I'm we bought everything that. we needed to get the main missions done, though. All right, so am I going to the red star again? Uh, check your missions list. I don't know what we gotta do. Uh, uh two to the no, uh, one to the right actually. Sheep dig, deep sea scare. Uh, the five. fastest one would be the first one, the red one. All right, so I'm going to the red star. Yep. Oh, uh, also, how'd you guys like the Illuminati edit? Hey, I forgot about that one. They know too much. Oh, I'm in love. Did you hear that guy scream? I thought I killed him. I was like, well, that's another body to hide. Oh, that Where are the other ones? Hidden? Don't worry about it. This is a hidden. <laughs> I just said, don't worry about it. Same concept. Oh. Uh, there was a story I was supposed to tell you earlier. What was it? You told me to remind you of something, and I completely forgot to remind you about it because I completely forgot about it. Uh, cop something. Oh. It was a cop story, wasn't it? I have no idea. I think it was. Uh, you literally could have just turned left instead of that. <laughs> Don't tell me how to not mess up my life. That's going the wrong way. I know. Where are you? <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Don't I, pretend to know things. I did know I was going the just wrong way. Just go up way. that ramp right there and go through the tunnel. Alright. To be fair, I did know I was going the wrong way. I was just like, yeah, uh, that's wrong way. God damn it, me. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay bro, what's wrong? Go with? to the right end? Yeah. Very cool. Uh, cop something. That's one thing I hate about. Uh, we always save some of the funny stuff we say for off uh, or for on camera. Okay. This time, just text it to my phone. Yeah, that'd help a lot. Now that I think about it. That way, I y'all remember one of the things. Back up, back up. Uh, it's not that one. It's the next one. Huh? You going? Okay. Oh. That one. Okay. Could you not? <laughs> oh God! You slammed him into the wall. Oh, I did. Yeah, you I thought I ringed him. Myself. I think there's a real spy right there. About to find out. Uh, yep. My memory is incredible when it comes to those. Yeah, meanwhile, I have no idea what I'm doing half the time. Yeah, like you threw the deadly rings, like, whoa. <laughs> to be fair, I couldn't remember what they did. I don't think you've ever gotten them or seen them before. Yeah, exactly. So I can't remember something I never had. They're basically a better version of the Kaboomer rings because you can throw them both separately. Oh, did the Kaboomer rings usually just kind of, like, they throw at the exact same time and then they go like this and then they hit each other and explode. Oh, nice. Is that an emu? That is not an emu. What is it? We need to get them I don't to remember what he is. What the time? Don't ask me. What time is it? It is 2.30 a.m. Oh. Good morning, good morning. I'm gonna see what he is, actually. Are you looking it up? Yeah. Oh, so I'm just throwing sheep around in here. The fuck did this thing think I was going? Through? What? What the fuck is that? It's a type of Thai. Um, oh, plushie. Beanie Baby. Well, not Beanie Baby. Cause be also, what is up with the whole Beanie Baby thing? I don't even remember what those are. They're like little. I don't even know what they are. They're basically just like stuffed animals. But they're He's a kiwi. Uh, Which I'm not 100% sure what is. Isn't that a but fruit? But apparently it's him. Yes, Toby, it's a fruit. Around that sheep, bitch. <laughs> so if you notice, if you <laughs> touch the water with them, their wool becomes soaked and it gets darker. Really? Yeah, you already did it. Uh, clean sheep. Oh, he got even darker. Bye, bye. Look how gray he is. You said gray, right? Yes, I did not say gay. I heard great. I'm trying to think of how to incorporate that though. Uh. Bah! 
Baba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Ooh, yes sir, yes sir. So many bags full. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> oh, so I'm just straight up throwing these sheep at this point. Like, get in there! Yeah, yeah! I like how you're saving them from a flash flood by putting them on an island even further in the land. Mm -hmm. <laughs> at exactly the same elevation. Hey, you know this thing where I'm gonna save you? Yeah, can you put us somewhere nicer? Nah, I'm just gonna save you in an even worse way. Nah, I'm just gonna put you all together so that way you all drown in the same location together. That way you can hear each other's screams. Okay, chill, Satan. Shane ain't got no seal, he lives in a hill. Yeah. They had seal, but, you know. It must suck to not be able to enjoy ice cream. I think we've been over this topic before, but... Nah, it's okay, they have, I they have fire cream. <clears throat> what about an ice cream? Just don't bring Icy Hot down there. It confuses the shit out of them. <laughs> <laughs> I think they don't know which one's the burn. <laughs> I think what you said like 10 minutes ago still applies to like... I think this is the stupid the side of the ships. couch. This is the... <laughs> This is the dumbest fire, session we've had. We just recorded four, no, three episodes of Doodle Day. Was it three? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was, yeah three. It, was, it was three episodes of Doodle Day. Yeah. Maybe it was four. So we got eight of them, right? Yeah. It was four. Was it? Yeah, because we, the last episode that just went up was four. Oh, okay. Uh, but no, uh, yeah, back to what I was going to say. So... What's like your favorite type of ice cream? Or do you even like ice cream? I'm not a huge fan of ice cream, but my favorite is vanilla with strawberry mixed in without the chunks. Without the chunks? I don't like the chunks because it feels like I'm biting into a rock that's strawberry flavored. I don't like strawberry rocks. Alright. If I want to eat a rock, I want it to taste like dirt and sand. I want the that real rocks, like not it, these artificial ones. I like all natural rocks. I like the ones that give me plenty of nutrients, like uh, dirt and uh, and dirt. possible feces. <laughs> when you really think about it, most of your vegetables come from uh, earthworm feced plants. Yeah, you're not wrong. Also, I think this is so stupid. And if you shit in the garden, that part will be a lot greener than the rest. Have you ever seen uh, The Martian? Nope. Really good movie, though. I don't watch movies, remember? Well, I usually don't either, but I watched this back when I still did. Um, it's got a... what's his face? The guy who played... Um, I cannot think of his name right now. Oh my god, I feel really dumb right now. I cannot think of his... Ah, hey, stop that. I really cannot <laughs> think of his name. Matt Damon, that's his name. Uh, I'm not familiar with what he looks like or what he's doing. I just know he's in one of those actors that everybody knows. Yeah. But, uh, really good actor, by the way. <clears throat> but um, he's in it, and there's a part where, like, gonna gonna, gonna gonna what? What are you gonna gonna do? Gonna gonna never never stop. <laughs> do I, I get out here? Is, I think yeah. I think it's a long mission though. Yay! Check the mission name. Oh, it's teeter tottering inferno. I know which one it is. Or bushfire, you know. Not at all the one that I was talking about. What were you thinking of? I was thinking of teeter tottering inferno. Okay. It's one of your missions you have. Yeah, I got that. You need much. the frosty ring for it. Do we have the frosty ring? Yes, you do. You have all the tier one boom rings. Yeah, hey, we do. We're missing four rings. They're all. No, you're missing five or six. Yeah. What? You're missing the omega ring, the oh, ice ring, yeah, cause this is the only thunder like ring, them, the right? lava ring, the kabooma ring, and the X ring, and then the doom ring. Which, in my opinion, is the most useless game boomerang in the entire series. What, the boomerang? Yes. Whoa. You switched to Zappy Rings. Which actually look amazing in this version. Mm -hmm. They were equally as useless in this one, but they look cool in this one. What? You're doing bushfire. What fire. are you? Oh, it's also you're a fire Not only are we up against a raging bushfire, but Boss Cass has sent a few of his goons in. <clears throat> Why do you look like somebody from Street Fighter? Boy, they wouldn't let me in their game, so I had to join another one. As far as I remember, his name is Cyrax. Are you serious? Yes. Uh, so, you see the fire icons? Mm hmm. Don't worry about all those. Oh. Uh, there's houses that are on fire. Oh, sucks to suck, dude. One thing that I'm really thankful for that they did in this game that they didn't do in the other one was what? there's no collectibles that count towards your 100% in these areas. Oh, so you can't, like, miss them out of all the yeah. commotion? 
It's kind of cool, actually. We'll, we'll just put out the houses. In the third one... What are you? Yeah, those oh. are those uh, ones that breathe the blue fire. Yeah. Um, so, in the third one, there's missions where you use a mech suit, me but you can't get out of it. And that makes it very hard to find certain collectibles, because you can use the X-Ring to make it a lot easier. Well, in that one, it's not really an X-Ring, but there's things that make one an X-Ring, basically. You'll see. Uh, there's an equal amount of jump in mechanics from the first to second game as there is in the second to third game. I freaking hate you guys. No, oh, you're good now. Yeah, I know that now. <laughs> so why are these houses on fire? A bushfire broke out. That's all I know. I think the pearls had something to do with it. My damn pearls. That's one's really good, by the way. What flavor did you end up getting again? Strawberry cream. Mm. I want to get the banana cream and mix it. <laughs> they didn't have strawberry banana, so I'm gonna make my own. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of good places in Waco that have stuff. I very rarely go to Waco anymore. I have very little reason to. Yeah. Thanks, Amazon. <laughs> Pretty much. I love the age that we live in. Okay, most of the time. Most of the time. Cause like yeah, before 2016 and after 2020. What? People will piece it together if you want. <laughs> I didn't catch what you said. I said, yeah, the years before 2016 and the years after 2020. Yeah. I think the most people can agree with that by now. You missed a house. Yeah, man. Okay. Let's go back for it. Okay, okay. I don't discriminate. Listen, Linda. Don't fuck with me, Todd. I don't know what movie that's from, but I think it's from something. I've heard it before. So that means it's got to be from something. Somewhere. You know that, or it's just one of those general names that people use. Like Toby. Toby is not a general name. <laughs> that was the joke. Oh, damn it. Congrats, you get plus five not stupid points. <laughs> I get plus ten stupid points. Yeah, it's because you're on that side of the couch. I called this the funny side, by the way. Yeah, this one's kind of the dumb side sometimes. The only difference here is my left side is hurting my hill from sitting like this. Yeah, now you know how I feel every time like we lay down and play Wizards 101. Dude. Uh, I don't want to play that very much right now. Yeah, me too. It's just one of those shows that, or one of those games, my bad, that, I don't know, I don't feel it's like it'd be a good It's equally irritating series. as it is addicting and fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, it has its moments where it's just like, I want to break everything around me. Yeah, and then and there's then it those moments super like, slow moments. Ooh, this is fun. But it's like those super slow moments that get me. Like, the anger is like, I gotta come back, I gotta beat him. I, I cannot, not leave this. It's never this anything like that. that gets me. It's more when a thing kills me. And then I'm like, I want to be overpowered. Yeah. See, uh... I'm one of those people that enjoys being overpowered rather than having to work for it that much, you know? Uh, I'm kind of half and half with that. Because I want it to be, like, still somewhat challenging, but I don't want to be like, Oh my gosh, somebody I want it to be where help. if I'm stupid, I'm obviously going to lose. Somebody but if I put please in some... help me! <laughs> but at least if I put... I want it to be where if I put in just a little bit of effort, I'll be okay. I don't want it to have to be like, i got to worry about this, 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 and that, but what if he uses this, then i got to worry about that, you know? I don't like that. Welcome to the School of Death Wizard. Uh, it's not much better with fire because you take a lot more damage. Huh? Okay. To be fair, I think there's a lot more fire types in our deck. Uh, At least so far. Yeah. I don't know, the areas that I've always been in, it's only hard when I'm facing off against a death or a storm type. Dude, those storms just deal a lot of damage. Yeah, I know. When they land. And always seem to have perfect accuracy when they're enemies. Mm hmm. You can spray water while spinning. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, so that way if one of them gets close, you can just do that real quick. Spray down the house, not even putting out the fire, <laughs> just causing more property damage. So basically, uh, store uh, water systems. What? Uh, Anti-fire systems, that's what I meant. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sprinkler systems, that's what uh, I Imagine, like, Office Depot that's, like, full of paper. Oof. Or Barnes & Noble, which is full of books. Did you say Bournes? I said Barnes in my head. I said Barnes, I think you so. You said Jason Bournes. That's what Matt Damon plays. He plays Jason Bourne. Is that the movie you were thinking yes! of? Yes! <laughs> Mystery solved. I bet this gun 
All right, boys. Oh my God. Pack it up. Let's go Jason back to Boyle. France. Draw me like one of your French girls. <laughs> I don't think they're going to see that for another four days. <laughs> Just everybody remember. Get ready for doodle date number six or seven. It's six. I thought it was seven. I think. It, I don't know. It could have been either one. Yeah, we'll figure it out later. Dude, I'm so ready. Four. Yes. Every time. Everything in this world. Alright, bend over. <laughs> I was hoping Ty would like check his feet at that moment. Eh, I don't think he ever does that. Wee! Oh. Yeah, I've tried that many, many times. Never worked? Nope. Well, unless yeah. you, uh. Unless you use a cheat system where you can just use moon jump. Mm uh hmm. -huh. And then you can just glide over where the hitboxes are for the invisible wall. And then you can actually walk on the road. It glitches a lot of shit out if I remember right, but it's fun to run around on me. And uh, believe it or not, Ty has physics when he's running on mud. He does? Yeah. Like huh. he does in the first game, where there's that mud section. Whee! Like it still slows you down and makes it where you can't jump very high. Oh, okay. What's the most, like, broken game? Like, broken AAA game you've ever played, actually? AAA game? Yeah. I wouldn't be able to tell you that. I wouldn't know. Because most AAA games aren't broken. Mm, I'm trying to think of one that. If you want to rephrase it and say mainstream game, Sonic 06 was the buggiest game I've ever played. Oh, uh. Yeah, it's a trick one. <laughs> well, fuck that. Uh, when right? you get up there, certain platforms disappear. And, uh, yeah. Oh. You just gonna have to follow them as they appear. Great, we're back to this. It's just an orb, there's no point in doing this. It's a dead end. Why must you treat me this way, game? There's no point in going for that orb. Yeah, I'm starting to see that now. Oh, can I help you? Use the deadly ring and delete them. Delete, quote unquote. Uh, that also has a much larger lock-on ring. Oh, it does. Yeah, because uh, it goes further. Uh -huh. The further the boomerang goes, the further the locking. Lock oh, okay. Right. It'll go as far as the boomerang will throw. So if you have the infrared ring, you can lock onto an enemy on the other side of the map, practically. <laughs> It usually will miss because by the time it gets to them, it'll have already curved at that point. But yeah. Also, that's a lot of enemies. Hey, don't do that one. Okay. I was gonna say use the mega rank. Wait, why? Because it'll bounce between them. Oh uh, yeah. I don't think I ever tested that one actually. Well, now's the time. This is the area with 40 million frills. Uh, that one. Yeah. It says mega rank. Oh, <laughs> See, you just got four of them with one boomerang. Alright. So it's equally as devastating, but a lot more satisfying to watch. <laughs> he's like, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Alright, there's no way he can kick all of our asses. <laughs> ah, I see. He nope, threw a boomerang. boomerang can. He threw a boomerang to kick all of our asses. Big difference right there, right? Yeah, one of them kicks you with wood, the other one kicks you with flesh. And fur. Like a little orange rat. I think there's a Gubu here somewhere, but I have no idea where. Gubu? Gubu T? Gubu? I have no clue where he is if he is. Eh, crap. Like, this is one of those areas I'm not 100% familiar with. Alright, well, time to go hunting. We're gonna go back to, uh, what episode? We are not doing four episodes of Gubu hunting again. Dang it. Ugh. Also, I don't know if I mentioned earlier in the episode, we're gonna keep these at normal length from now on. Because we had several episodes that were like... 30 minutes long and tie, and then we had several Undertale episodes that were an hour long, and that was not fun. At least editing-wise and yeah. time-wise. Also, those are a lot of levels. Yeah, they do a good We're already up to 3,000. We were 200 when we started. I love how a button throws a piece of wood uh, on the, the side of the there? Cliff. No, left side. Oh, okay. Go you left can grab right? that rope right there. Huh. Oh, hey! Yeah. No, <laughs> You wanted that to happen. Go down. Oh, hey! <laughs> I didn't see it, sorry. I was trying to get back up so that way I could go and try to grab that bag. There's a bag up there? Uh, yeah. I didn't see it. I don't. I didn't know what color it is, but there is a bag up there. Chances are it's gonna be a 10, because every time we think it's a good one, it's always a 10. Also, apologies for there being four Undertale episodes in a row. That was more of a fact that we didn't have space or time to record Toby's turn this week, and we decided to do Undertale just to finish it out. Yeah, uh, that will be coming out 
That'll be this week for sure this time. Yeah, we'll be okay putting these episodes out or recording Toby's turn. What? Recording Toby's turn. Like, well, it'll be coming out this same week as these episodes. Oh, okay. So yeah, you guys it'll will be uh, Thursday and Friday. Fucking God, I give What's up. That an open bag. It looked weird. It's an apple bag. Zoom know. in on it when you get a chance. Alright, let me get up here first. That rattling is starting to get to me. I know. Uh, that is a purple. How much do those give? I think those are either the 600 or 3000 ones. Is it worth it? I mean, you don't need any more boomerangs, and you got like the most powerful one. Alright. Because that one can break open ice blocks, metal crates, and destroy giant roots and frills. Oh, okay. So, I mean, there's mm -hmm. not really much to go from there. Alright. I think we should... Oh, hey, Bilby. Yeah, hey, Bilby. I forgot he was right there. I think we should go ahead next time. Yeah, next time my corn dog's on the floor. Right. Bye, guys. Corn dog's on the floor.